It's not often we do stories about heavy metal bands, but we couldn't resist Megadeth. They're hard to ignore. A group formed by a man kicked out of the supergroup Metallica, who went on to become their greatest rival. David Farry reports. Come backstage with Dave Mustaine from Megadeth and you quickly find out the 48-year-old is not your typical heavy metal bogan. Now me, I'm pretty verbose. I've been to the White House. I covered the Democratic National Convention. I've met the president. You know, I've done a lot of things. I got a bill passed into law in the United States. So I'm kind of an anomaly. But still one that likes to make nice loud music and popular, selling over 25 million records and quickly selling out tonight's show in Auckland. Megadeth is about to blow you away. Of course, Megadeth only happened after Mustang got kicked out of Metallica back in 1983. He famously got quite emotional about this in a documentary 25 years after it happened. You know, and, and am I happy being number two? No. I've seen how my career has been helped by that and how it's also been hurt by that. But a lot of the stuff that, that goes on with me in my career, it's it's... It's not in my hands anyway, it's, it's up to God. That's right, the man who's written songs like 99 Ways to Die and Wake Up Dead is now a committed Christian. It just seems a sort of a contradiction to some people, I think. It could seem like a contradiction to people, but, you know, I mean, David in the Bible played the guitar, so, and he supposedly had red hair, so. <laughs> a guy gets this good at something, it's not on his own doing. You know, I don't practice, I pick up the guitar and I just play it. Voted the world's number one heavy metal guitarist of all time, you can't really argue. And somehow he's managed to soak into pop culture, popping up on T-shirts and Kiwi movies, being name-dropped on the X-Files, and playing on the Drew Carey show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be nervous, son, just slow down. Not bad for a guy who has a wee cupcake to thank for his first ever song. The first song that I wrote on my way back from New York was written on the back of a cupcake wrapper, if you can believe that. That's the song Set the World to Fire, which is the song we're starting our show with tonight. And the fans love it. That's a cupcake song! <laughs> David Farrier, 3 News.